Okay, it's time to just start fleshing in the body. I'm not going to do the head yet because uh, I'm going to do that separate. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably. It's anchored onto the horse. The problem is it wants to move. So I think what I'm going to have to do is put two tacks. I'll wait to do that later, though. I'm not in a hurry to do that right now. So for my uh, YouTube friends, this is a continuation of uh, me working on this figure, this uh, piece. And right now I'm working on the uh, male figure that's going to be sitting on the horse. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get that those legs fixed because it's starting to uh, bother me now. And uh, so I'm just going to make that adjustment real quick. saw me do yesterday I uh, made it kind of like a staple that I could drive into the uh, horse and uh, I'm using these uh, big clippers only because it clips real easy and I'm don't have to sit here straining at it. And I'm going to bury that. Let's see, I better widen that a little bit so it'll make sure it goes over the armature. And I'm going to push it down in to the clay. That's much better. See that that now it doesn't move. And I'm only gonna do it in that one leg, I think, for now. If I have to, I'll put another one in the other leg, but for now, minimal is best. I think I'm going to have this arm come over and maybe, I don't know if I'm going to have her holding his hand. <sighs> hmm. Got to think about that.
since the armature is being held together by the uh, clay and by the tape, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, hmm. I got to think about this. I'm making an armature for the head and I'm making it with wire that I can remove from the sculpture to work on and then I can put it back on the sculpture and I uh, just want to get a feel let's see uh, the head is a head length okay the bottom of the chin would be about there. Okay. I'm just basically sketching in the head just so I get a feel for uh, where I'm going to put it. It's pretty f movable right now, and that's only because uh, I haven't anchored it. And I probably won't anchor it for a little while. Now the thing is you want to when you put the neck on you want to make sure that the outside edge of the neck this side is and this side is equal to from the edge to the shoulder on both uh, sides so I'm going to have to adjust that a little bit I kind of like his hand over here. I don't think I'm going to have her touching him. Hmm. Let me see something real quick. And I'm just thinking out of the design in my head, and that's what you do when you're sculpting. You work out your design as you uh, look at it. Now a shield wouldn't be a huge shield. It would cover basically the chest area but not much more. So say I have his shield on his arm like that. I kind of like that idea. 
shield would be a little concave. I like that design. I like uh, the way that looks on the uh, figure and on the horse. It uh, kind of complements everything. <clears throat> and it looks good from this side, too. Yeah. I just, this isn't the shield that I'm going to do. I'm just uh, basically just testing out a, the feel of what I'm going to do. Let me just check my head measurement. It's perfect. And I want to set the profile of the warrior. Just like that. I think it's the first time I've called it a warrior because I really didn't know what I was going to do yet. Now, if I got her standing here and she's sort of standing there with her hands behind her just looking up at him I got to figure out her leg placement so that uh, I can mount her on this. I might have to redo this armature. I think it might be just a little too small. You know, I might make it the same size as his. Because even though women were smaller, everybody was smaller back then. Although, I went to the Buffalo Bill Museum one time in Cody, Wyoming, and they have displays of clothing from the 1800s and early 1800s and there was a pair of leggings that uh, would have uh, been drawn up on the leg of the uh, warrior and then tied at the belt and those leggings were almost as tall as I am to the center of my chest the guy must have been over six feet seven feet tall I mean you know, they had warriors that were taller. You look at some of these uh, Catlin paintings, and uh, every once in a I think he has a couple of paintings of a, a warrior that was a giant of a warrior. And uh, so there were big uh, Native Americans and small Native Americans. There was no set size. But you don't want to do too small or else what happens is you start to, uh, well making it too small <laughs> now I cut my fingers up pretty bad when I made the armature so my thumb hurts right now working this clay. Got a scratch right on the tip of my thumb and uh, it's a little painful. Yeah, I kind of like that. So anyway, that's all I'm doing today is just working out the design of him. And I can adjust that a little bit more uh, when I put uh, her on here. And I'm showing you more of the video today uh, because I just wanted to give you an idea. It's not giving you any secrets and, uh, and stuff like that that I put into my videos. And... It's, uh, it's just basically working out a design. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. It's real late at, 
in the evening. I had a lot to do today and I couldn't get to my sculpting stand at all. And I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. I'll work more on the uh, anatomy next time. And uh, oops, get that arm just about right there. Might draw that arm a little bit closer in. What I might do is anchor that hand to his leg. Oops, I'm hitting the leg armature, so I gotta put it around the leg armature. And I don't wanna push it down too far because I still gotta make the hand. shield on, it'll fit just a little bit better. I like this hand back here. To, it anchors him to the horse. All right, that's going to be it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.